Hey guys, um, this morning I finished my struggle on my on uh, one major part that I was trying to get out of my fuel system on this 1985 uh, Mercedes-Benz 380 SL. Okay, it's the fuel strainer. All right, and that's the that's the part that actually like screws into the fuel tank. Okay, come on, let's take a look over here, you guys. So. Come close. So check this out. This thing was really, really stuck in there. So if you guys are doing this on your on your 380 SL or whatever, I'm sure that the other models have the same thing. Uh, then this thing was really, really stuck in there. Um, it was really corroded. I don't know if it was the corrosion that had it stuck in there or if it was, I mean, either way it would be corrosion, but it would be galvanic corrosion um, in the other circumstance because of the combination of dissimilar metals. Uh, this doesn't have black paint on it to keep the metals apart from from corroding Okay, and that's actually common when you're putting aluminum into a steel part You're supposed to have black paint on it. Okay, or whatever paint color you want, but black is standard. Okay, so This thing was really really stuck now after I got the after I got the hose removed out of it Then my challenge was getting this thing out because there's no access and I didn't want to remove the whole fuel tank in order to remove this part okay um so I, I couldn't get any type of socket i mean this was like an inch and 13 sixteenths or something like that is the size socket it would have needed i don't have an inch and in, i mean I, I don't even know of anybody that has an inch and 13 sixteenths so what i ended up doing since this is a wasted part anyway i did get it out i i got a uh, a bolt extractor okay it's a large one it's an ex-7 17 30 seconds drill is what it says on it okay this is very large on the end it's a very large square and i was like man what am i going to get on here to take this off right so just so happens i found out um that a 17 millimeter socket fits right on it okay but it's the 12 point okay so it's got like the 12 points inside so um and then i i started cranking on this thing like a week ago and it was just shredding the inside of the aluminum because it was so corroded in there, all right? So um, this is what I did, and this worked this morning. I took my heat gun. And this is dangerous. Make sure all the fuel is out of the system, okay, because you're applying a high amount of heat to this thing. Uh, well, first I actually took a chisel and a hammer, and I, I tapped on the edges to try to break loose any corrosion that might be there, okay? And... Uh, then so then i took my heat gun i had this up in there and i just kept it kind of far away and i really just let it heat up for i think i had it heating up for maybe like one minute i think it was like a whole minute just holding it on there on high okay the highest heat setting on my heat gun okay then as fast as i could i got this thing in there tapped it with a hammer a couple times and then i just started cranking it use a large extension and i used a uh, half inch breaker bar okay and it was it was still kind of difficult, but man, once I saw that thing start moving, I knew that I had won, okay? So it's all downhill from here in this regard. I'm gonna replace the rest of these fuel components. I'll do another video later, um, but I'm doing the accumulator, the fuel filter, and uh, there was one other thing in here as well. The fuel accumulator, I can't remember what the other part is called, but I had to buy the new lines, okay? When I do the other video, uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to try to figure out how to put those parts in the description box. Um, but this was not an easy job. Okay. So, uh, if you're replacing this part, get ready for a challenge, but you can do it. And I'm telling you, this bolt extractor is the solution. It will get it out because it's, if you're familiar with bolt extractors, it's reverse threads. Okay. So, uh, thanks for watching you guys. Good luck. Um, remember if you're having too much of a struggle in any auto project that you're doing, stop and pray ask the lord to help you because why would you leave him out okay he cares about you get the lord involved ask him to help you out if you have problems solving something pray about it the lord knows the solution all he has to do is tell you but he ain't going to tell you if you ain't asking okay so thanks again for your time you guys uh once again my name is brian and uh remember the gospel is found in first corinthians chapter 15 verses 1 through 4 and the gospel is that Jesus died for your sins and that he was buried. And then three days later, he rose again from the dead for you. If you believe this today, you will be saved. And I'll see you in heaven. God bless you guys.